All right, let's talk about Makai Becton, the, you know, former first round pick who has looked great when he's been on the field, but I struggled to say on the field coming off of an injury now. So we wanted to see what does he look like in a very small sample size, just seven snaps, but I thought he looked really good in these seven snaps. Let's get into what I liked about what I saw from him, uh, starting off with the play you see on the screen. So he is the left tackle. He's going to be moving in to uh, block an interior defensive lineman. That's how this is going to work as the left guard is going to help him out. At the beginning of the play, just make sure that he's able to get his hands in position, and then the guard gets up to the second level, blocks someone up there. But really, let's watch what Makai Becton can do here. Right off the bat, you see him very quickly move in. He does get the hand placement that he wants uh, very well. And for Becton, obviously, the thing you talk about with him is the athleticism. It's the strength. It's the physical tools that he brings to the table for the Jets. And watch him show it off on this play. I mean, look at him just completely shove uh, that interior defensive lineman, you know, all the way over. And that's, again, that's an interior defensive lineman. This isn't a, uh, you know, this isn't just some random, uh, you know, it's not a small edge rusher or anything or like a, you know, a defensive back or a linebacker. No, this is a big guy that he's just kind of disposing of pretty easily. Also, something like this, where now he's going to be blocking an edge rusher, um, and it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Looks like there might, be, might have been a little bit of contact with the tight end who's next to him, but not enough to really impact the play. So really, a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and this is going to be a run actually to the outside right here. So for Becton, he's in a bit of a unique scenario of trying to block the edge rusher towards the inside of the field, which typically isn't what you do. Typically, as a tackle, you're going the other way in the run blocking game. But of course, the Jets, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know this kind of scheme they do like their outside runs and so that's what Becton is going to have to try and pull off on this play but watch how when this play begins you do see him be able to move over and he's able to get sort of that outside leverage that he wants uh to be just in a good angle to make this block you know blocking uh it's all a math game really I mean it's all about equations and you know getting the right angles and all of that good stuff not really equations you're not doing the quadratic formula out there but angles is what you're doing you're trying to find the right angle and that's what uh, Becton is doing here because of that watch him be able to finish off this block very effectively and these are the kind of things that you kind of uh, just expect Becton to be able to pull off relatively consistently which is definitely uh you know definitely cool to see like something like this is another good example of just you know one of the things I do like about him is I think he has underrated hands and I think he showed that off on this play where what's going to happen is it's again this is the one-on-one -on -one block this time it's going to be in the uh you know in the passing game though so pass blocking let's show some pass blocking why don't we I thought he looked very effective in this type of thing as well Right when this play begins, you see how, again, that right hand, usually it's the left hand that matters for a left tackle. Usually guys are trying to get around the outside. On this play, though, the edge rusher trying to fool Becton a little bit with an inside move. But Becton is able to kind of get his hand just, you know, where he wants it to be. Even when the Browns edge rusher knocks it away a little bit, he's still able to get it back in position to continue that block throughout. And he had his left arm uh, in a pretty good spot as well. So just getting hands in positions to be able to make the block is always going to be very important. And it's something that we see Becton do, which like, listen, I don't know. He's been out of the league for a, a minute now, now, not out of the league, but uh, he hasn't played for a second now. So seeing him come back and not look rusty is definitely a good thing. Something like this is another uh, good play from him where what's going to happen is it's once again going to be in the pass blocking uh, you know, uh, situation. Once again, he's pass blocking. And this one isn't anything too crazy, but it really just goes to show, I think, uh, you know, really, quite frankly, how much better he was than the competition he was going up against. I mean, watch how this isn't even close. He gets the hand placement he wants. The, you know, edge rusher tried to bull rush him, but it barely did anything, barely moved him back. And he was able to make that block uh, and, you know, gave his quarterback plenty of time right there and could have given him plenty more if he needed to. So definitely a very good play there. And also something like this, where what's going to happen here is that the edge rusher is going to kind of try and like a sweep, uh, swipe move right here, try to knock that left arm out of the way and try to get to the outside. And as you see, this one was probably the one rep you saw from back then where it didn't go perfectly. He kind of did get beat a little bit right there initially. Uh, and so because of that, maybe you're sitting here and saying, okay, well, okay, this is a lost rep 
from back then. But no, the rap is far from over. Okay, you're not going to just stop him in his tracks where he was, but there's still ways you can win this rap. You know, uh, your quarterback is where he is right now. So if you push the edge rusher behind your quarterback, that still can give him plenty of time to, uh, you know, to throw the football. Uh, and that's what Beckton is going to try and do right here. Just push the edge rusher behind Wilson. This is what he should be doing. This is what a coach would tell you to do in this situation. And watch just how far he pushes that edge rusher back. Zach Wilson had plenty of time. Uh, still can't tell if that was an intentional just fall down or if he just slipped. Uh, you know, I made a video on Zach Wilson. Seemed like comments were divided there. I still don't know. But uh, for Beckton, uh, that was definitely a very good block, I would say, to recover from maybe an initial not great situation. And it's like, listen, I mean, you know, uh, you're going to get yourself out of position sometime. And sometimes it's not even a bad play necessarily to let someone get by you a little bit. You know, that's kind of the nature of football is that kind of stuff happens. And I like to look at not just do you never get out of position? Because, like, listen, Trent Williams has moments where guys get by him, right? It's how do you come back from that? And being able to come back from something like that is also still very important, in my opinion. So, yeah, I mean, you know, as a whole, I feel like of every video I end up bringing up, okay, you know, every preseason video, I end up bringing up, okay, sure, but how much does this really matter, right? That just, that inherently is going to be a thing that you talk about with these kind of videos, because inherently, how much does something like this matter? Does, you know, uh, I saw someone say it was seven uh, overall snaps, that's about, I didn't count them, but that feels about right, uh, you know, that amount of snaps, how much does that actually uh, matter, I don't know. I I don't can't say for certain how much that matters typically. I actually think it matters a little bit more though than maybe you would think from just hearing that. Because again, for Beckton, we know he's a good player. That's not really the question. Unlike some of these other situations where like for these rookies of complete unknowns of hey, you played well even in a, you know, 30 snaps, but how much does that mean? In this situation, we just want him to look healthy. We don't really want him to look, you know, better or worse. If he missed a couple blocks but looked 100% healthy, that would still be optimistic. And so for that reason, I actually think that you can take a good deal from this kind of stuff. And I, I feel pretty optimistic about what I've seen from Makai Beckton so far. Again, totally worth mentioning. It still is a small sample size. Maybe he isn't fully healthy and he just was able to hide it well in the small sample size. It's a possibility for sure. But as a whole, I would say I was impressed with Beckton and his performance. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on Makai Beckton's preseason performance? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.